electric charges, and static electricity. In this lab, you will be isolating electric charges and using the triboelectric effect to produce static electricity in items. To start, you will be using some simple scotch tape. By placing one layer of tape on the table and another layer of tape on top of it, when you peel off the top layer of tape, it will be electrically charged. And then we can use that tape to explore the effects of charges on other charges and in space. Very importantly, you want your tape to not be too long. No longer than, longer than about the length of your finger. Most of us have had an experience where we're trying to tape something, and as soon as you break the, this long piece of tape, it immediately curls up and wraps around your arm and becomes completely useless. That's what's going on here. We really want our tape to be only about the length of our fingers. Using the tribal electric effect, we can take combinations such as wool and PVC pipe and charge up the pipe or the rod or the balloon with static electricity. We can then compare not only how they relate to each other, but knowing some things about how the triboelectric series works that allows us to identify which charges on which items, including on our original tapes. This will allow us to make a charge compass, if you will, by taking two pieces of tape, one charged positively and one charged negatively. We can connect them along a seam and then place that seam onto a piece of thread. This allows us to hold the thread taut, and the two tapes can pivot along that junction. So the positively sized, positively charged side can point in one direction, while the negatively charged side points the other, which allows us to map out electric field lines. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Here's this lab's fun fact. The Parks Observatory in New South Wales was having an issue where they were seeing this enormous radio signal that kind of sporadically overwhelmed their circuits for about 17 years. That's when they realized that it was caused by opening a microwave oven before the timer had gone off.